Hello and welcome to this quick video on how to make your USB joystick work on your computer. Now I've already made a video on this a while ago. Uh, this was one about how to get it all working. However, it seems that lots of people weren't actually reading the extra tips that were in the description. So I'm remaking it so that hopefully if you get stuck, uh, you won't uh, be unable to use your USB joystick. Now the one I'm using here is this Radio Master T8 Lite. This is a really cheap and cheerful little radio. It uh, will connect stuff using the D8 and D16 AWCST version 1 protocols. And uh, But the cool thing is, is you can plug it into the computer like I have it here and it's a great little way, cheap and cheerful way to add a uh, reasonable quality little USB joystick for your simulators. However, I've just plugged mine into this laptop here and surprise, surprise, it isn't working. Now I know it's not working because in the game controllers uh, and all I did to get into this, this is dead easy, is if you just type in USB, there's, there it is, set up USB controllers, in here it isn't listed at all. And that's because the computer, or Windows specifically, is not recognizing the joystick correctly. And until it appears in here, it won't appear in simulators and games. So what we've got to do is we've got to fix the driver. Now that sounds horrific, but if I type in device into this lower left hand corner and hit enter and it'll start device manager. In device manager, we'll be able to see the joystick normally uh, down here. However, it's not in game controllers. It's actually hiding up here. This is actually the joystick. It's been classed as a better USB HS. Now if we right click on that and say properties, if you go to the driver section, if you're lucky enough that this was uh, working on the computer before and it has just been broken by a Windows update, which seems to happen quite a lot, if you click on rollback driver, that will work fine. Uh, and then you'll appear, it'll appear in here and away you go. So if you don't have the ability to roll back the driver, then it's also relatively simple to fix. What we can do is we can say update driver. We can say browse my computer for drivers. And then we can say, let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer and it lists all the ones that it could be. And it's chosen this one, but actually this is the one that we want. So highlight USB input device, click on next. It'll install those drivers and then say close. And look at that magically it has appeared over here on the right hand side. From here on in, it is just like configuring any other USB controller. That is the trick. And also you can see it's kind of appeared here under the HID stuff. So hopefully that helps those of you that are struggling to get this working. Those are the two ways to do it. Um, if you find that the joystick isn't working, one of those two ways will usually get you sorted. One is useful if it's already been installed and Windows Update has broken it, or the other way will get it working if you don't have the ability to roll back driver. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media, and if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.